squad four is going uh, F four. Good evening, everybody. We're here on Cocan. It's April eighth, two thousand seventeen. There you go. We are going to be running Operation Farmer's Fate. Right. And this is Squad Ops. I'm here tonight with Hyper Evo. Hello. He's going to be my co-commentator. My name is the Muff Bandit. And we are going to follow these guys on their journey to immerse, get tactical, and use teamwork with themselves. Uh, as you can see, they've got the vehicles lined up here on Insurgency side. And we're about to get some platoon briefing from the commander expert it's a nice little setup the insurgents have here where's mine i'll tell you get double strong all right let's go over some things real quick yeah. uh, this is squad ups it's a one life event Can you put no more which means when you go down you're down you're done thank you all right guys but Medics, if you don't go down and you get yourself bandaged and stuff like that, you can go good again. All right, we're going to work on any audio issues we have. We'll consistently be working on that. Uh, that's the main thing, one life event, which makes people play it a little bit more conservatively than normal, if not a lot more. Uh, once again, this is Operation Farmer's Fate. There's only a couple of big things we got to worry about, and they are... The insurgents are attacking. The U.S. is defending. Now, there's four different locations that the U.S. can defend, and they have been conveniently marked on my map. They are Hotel 5, Delta 5, Delta 6, and Foxtrot 7. Now, what they can do there is build up with supplies that they're going to run with Logi trucks and stuff like that, and Hyper will go into a little more detail of that when he talks about the U.S. side. But for now, we'll talk about insurgents. They're going to be bringing a load of techies, uh, four of them, with an artillery techie lobbing missiles behind them all. Other than that, we're going to go in quick. I can hear Xbit briefing his troops. We might even be able to get a listen on him. He's uh, one of our cameras tonight. And it looks like U.S. is ready. They're starting to uh, form up and everything. Nice. Oh, there's the call. The uh, only other thing is, if they're not in Hotel Five, then a best squad. All right, we're gonna switch to X, but yeah, he's a camera. He's we're switching to him. We're gonna let him brief his squad uh, platoon for a moment. Which will allow us even more time time to get maneuver in. So this is a. Uh, very fast going map so if we guys aren't on your toes and ready to uh, take contact right away or and or execute orders quickly it it can end up being uh, uh, a really bad round for us so any questions rules of engagement uh, that's up to your squad leaders they're in the field not me oh so we did we'll just miss his briefing yeah, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, he's so fielding questions like rules of engagement. He's given what they see his squad them. leaders the power. No vehicles are we looking at on the American of side? rules of engagement. Uh, times Humvee at the top. They also get a trans truck. They also get a Lachi truck. Humvee yep, experts still fielding uh, questions. Five, uh, Here's all their trucks. They get so seven so different trucks they get to bring in. Bunch of techies. One Lachi can run all the way. They get the transport. The artillery truck, which is going to sit back. Now, here's one big thing with the insurgents. They get a place, one fob, and I think the location is, what, Foxtrot 3 or maybe Charlie 3. Like a west side location and an east side location. And with that, they get to place a vehicle repair and rearm station, which they are free to use as long as they can keep running logistic supplies and whatnot back and forth to keep their vehicles rearmed and resupplied. So we can look for that artillery truck to sit there and just take shots where they think that the U.S. team might be, which is which can be devastating. It's it's nonstop suppression. It's great. It, it keeps the U.S. guys on their toes. They have to keep buildings close in case the artillery comes in. Speaking of artillery, I'll bet you Hyper knows where the U.S. are taking up position right now. 
So I sure do. Uh, they're going to be staging up over here at Hotel 5, Keypad 4, or no, Keypad 8. Over here at ah, the Hotel petrol station. 5, so, yep, they're over at petrol right now. Four, or no, that's where they're going to be starting their, uh, or well, that's where they're yep, going to be at, at petrol not starting. Right now. That's where they're going to be starting. And uh, looks like they're going to send like a little infantry troops over to a village for be on lookout. And uh, looks like they're going to or at least in that like general direction. Infantry troops over to a village for be on lookout. And with nice. that being said, uh, the SLs for tonight on the US side is going said, to be uh, Blue Falcon, uh, Benbot Mighty, and Farmer Tap. To be and their Falcon, S or the commander is going to be Doctor Kamikaze. Benbot Mighty and Farmer Tap. And their S or the commander is going to be Dr. Kamikaze. Nice. All right, well, I'll go over a command for insurgents. Obviously, expert. We we tuned in on him a minute ago. Uh, his squad leaders, though, are Best Pony, Krusty the Sailor, Truth Realm, and Shadowed Ritual. And they are done briefing, it looks like. They're all taking position at their vehicles. Tons of techies going to be rolling out. Yep, lifetime is going to oh, be at kidding. 118. 118? Nice, nice. That is in a minute and a half. Yep. Let's see here. Well, there's a squad free weekend tonight. And actually, we're giving away a, a, a squad key. Let's go over that right now. We're we going to be giving away two, key. not just one, two. Oh, shit, two. Didn't know yes. that. Okay, we're giving away two squad keys tonight. And uh, we'll keep talking about that, hopefully, to remind people. And you know what? All you're going to have to do is type something in this chat. Um, that's how we're giving it away. It's going to be a random roll. It doesn't matter how many times you type or anything. It just throws your name into the hat. And we're going to have it from start to finish. So right uh, now, anyone who's already typed is is entered since yes. we went live. And we'll be uh, we'll be doing it at the end of this. So that way we can get our other people that are uh, participating in this event in here too. Ah, yes, yes, of course. So please stick around until the end. Yep, watch it. Look at this. Look at all these insurgents loaded up. Everybody except Expit. Everyone except Command is loaded up in the techies, ready to rock and roll. For the most part, it's... A lot of calm talking, looking around by the insurgents. They've got these vehicles loaded up. Uh, I'm going to have to restart real quick. I'm having a little bit of issues over here. So I will be back here in a little bit. And we're live. The techie train is taking off. Getting some first-person views. We've got multiple cameras for you guys to see in first-person view. It'll tell you who it is up in the top right corner. And it should tell you what faction they're on, too, I think, as well. Just in case you aren't sure. So far, the ins insurgents are heading down the eastern side with some techies right towards petrol station. All right, dismount, dismount, dismount. They just hit this northern compound, north of Petrol. We might have contact real quick. Copy that. Jay Remix got his binoculars out. He must be running the scout roll. Insurgents get a scout for each squad. I got eyes on infantry. I don't know if he sees anything. There's a lot of vegetation Dang, that's bad. <laughs> oh best pony just called out sandbags hotel five they've I'm to come in they've determined that's where it's at so they already know it's there which is pretty clutch you know this is this can be a quick rush by the insurgents and we've seen it done go ahead they are i don't know if they're gonna move in yet Nexus or fields, but be careful. They usually position. 
All right, I can hear Xbit already giving orders to spread out to the west side, sneak around to the flank. Talking about going to Nexus, which is far southwest across the river. All right, Best Pony's taking his squad. They've been, they're the ones that actually got told to head around to the south side. So we've got a good quick minute to wait. Still plenty of insurgents to the north. They're just waiting while the techies reposition. Their best chance is to attack from more than one angle. Even though the U.S. have already got a squad and a half or more to the west-southwest. You have to go up maybe no. 25, 30 meters from there. Then you can I may push south to, to this uh, earth bridge at F5 key. There's a lot of comms going on too on the you, on the insurgents right now. Lucky driver, I want you to start pushing Oh, there's down two squads over here. They are spread out all over Nexus and southwest of Nexus. U.S. forces spread out everywhere. Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to sneak over to the two technicals. All right, Roger that. Fire yeah, they just called them out. Did they see the two uh, techies yep. to their west? They just called two. Yep, they just called them, called them out just now. Right, one of them is a Dishka techie. The other one's just a transport. So... You got a nice little setup Same here in this to... compound. Is that in the Foxtrot 7 compound? Uh, Yes, Foxtrot 7. Okay. Oh, it looks like, what is that, the techie that's moving off? Yeah, it's a Dishka techie. Hitting that far southern road. Oh, they lost one. <laughs> well, one fell out of the truck anyway. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to send uh, some troops down to the south, but they're not going to have time to get down there to meet them. There's a lot of rocket fire I'm hearing going off. All right, down one. Where are they shooting at? You can't tell. They've, oh, they've chosen to place their fob, and I don't know where their fob is. They haven't placed it yet. Don't get distracted by the rockets. We gotta make sure. Don't one more down. Up. Fire one. Yeah. They're still, they're still locating. Or yep, they just, they're sending a team right now down to the south. Oh no, that's the logic. No, 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 I'm sorry. Logic is our Oh, the rockets are a little far south. The rockets are a little south of the petrol station, which is where their the fob's petrol? located. Yep, they hit about 100 meters south. Dump it, dump it, dump it. Probably oh, yeah, chased I, I, off the technical and the logi truck. I was going to say that, uh, well, the, the logi truck for the U.S. is... Oh, here comes more. Need to be careful. Here comes some it's more. It's coming back in. Oh, yeah. Yep, too far south. They know south. where they're at, so they're definitely... They're, they're going to rock it in, though. They'll get it. Copy that. Yep, they were just a These little guys, far south. These guys need to just hurry up and start building these things up that they can and just keep cover right now. They do not need to be on top of the rooftops like they are right now. That is not a good not a good position to be at. Well, they've been overshot a couple times, so they might not be too afraid of it right now. It's true, but you never know when that next one might come uh, be right on this uh, compound. I hear a uh, call out for the techie. Sounds like they're about to hit him. Oh, wow, they might attack the Logi truck run. Ah, uh, I know, right? I think that might be their plan. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, go max elevation. That's what I was saying. This Logi truck needs to be careful when it's coming through due to the fact that... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. They're starting to... All right, fire one. Is that the 50 cal oh, shooting at them? Again, nope, 50 cal ain't shooting at them. I don't know who's... Oh, I think that's the 50 cal shooting at the compound. That's up north. 
That's up north, yeah. Yeah, they're shooting uh, in the compound. They're shooting. Yeah, they spotted them uh, just north of Petrol now. Okay, so Chris, these guys will probably be moving in quick. Here they come from the north. They might stop this lodging run now. Oh, there's fifty. There's Dishka fire coming in on fifty cows fire north. Here comes the rockets. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. That's yep. That's what I was talking about. That a little far south. Be careful. They were a little far south with their rockets. No, that doesn't. Oh, they about hit the lodging truck. Oh, they did. They got a. Uh, they got Silverman. He's bleeding right now. He's out right now, bandaging himself. Oh wow. That's that's it. Yeah, they're they're probably gonna need to stop doing these lodging runs now. If I was them. Just use that uh, Humvee to start trekking down these uh, technicals. Okay, I was looking. I was hovering over the U.S. for a moment there, but I'm gonna go back to the insurgent side. Here comes some more rockets. There's some more rockets. Yeah. I took a hit. I took a hit. Oh, someone goes down. They're still south. South. Someone on the south went down. Jay Remick goes down on the insurgent side. The insurgents oh. are pretty. Oh, they got out. nice. Oh my goodness. They're about to hit this Humvee uh, and launch truck up. Oh, they missed it. They missed the rocket. Oh, then one got it. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. That Lodgy truck is probably going to be done. It's on fire. I don't think it can recover from after that. Oh, it does. Never mind. Holy cow. In the meantime, up to the north well, of Petrol Station, there's two technicals firing south, two shielded Dishkatekis. Both firing south. We'll copy that. Evans and Faku are gunning them. Maybe it's Cage Sama. But they're looking south. They know they're there. Expert the commander is on the riverbank, pushing south. This squad south Being is now going to head to the north now, it looks like. Oh, some more rockets like, coming in. Sounds like the insurgents did lose one techie. Oh, because it hit the river. It went in the river and they lost it. Oh, here comes some more. They're getting missiles. closer. Still a little far south. Just a little, but they're starting to walk them in a little more, though. Yep. Oh, wow. All right, we, uh, we hit the real hard. Oh, here, just huge fire coming up and Man. down. Yeah, they're still uh, they're still out of uh, out of range. They're still just nor or south of the uh, compound. That's a shame. Oh, they're throwing good suppression down, though. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, now the the other squad across, across the river is starting to fire in on them now. But they have a flank behind them that are that's, uh, attacking. Uh, yeah, there's a whole other squad team? in the west. That's Blue Falcon squad. Isn't yeah. It? Oh, man. Shadow Richard is about to get mowed back. down. He's trying to go for that truck again. I don't know if that's fucking. I don't know if that's bright or not. Oh, he's just going to stand by it, use that cover for now. But I definitely would just get away from it. His squad is is pretty much wiped. He's got a few guys left. And that's about it. They took a very strong flank from the west, which consisted of two squads. These rockets are still raining in. Blue too. Falcon and I don't know who the other squad leader is. Mighty Blue Falcon and Mighty. We disabled one technical out in the field to our east and took out a few enemy infantry. Right now, you're watching Mighty's point of view. Hey, from on that one, They've uh, got a beautiful here, spread a squad one, between squad their two squads. And they're just raining down these rockets right now. But they're still just they're just too north of the uh, or too south of the point. Yep. In the meantime, it looks like Krusty's squad is way south. They've got. Yeah, they've already. I oh. guess they've taken out the logic truck already. No, no, they didn't take out the logic truck. They took a different route. They bypassed them all together. Ah, yeah, I see that. They went right past them and just used a different route. That's oh, genius, genius on them for doing that. Chris Taylor's going to try to come up here though and try to take him out, but I don't think he's going to have enough time. Krusty sees him. He's a squad leader. He's got his binocs out right now. But if those rockets come up, it might get them. They got to be careful with that. The remainder of Krusty's squad is come. coming up there behind They're him. Coming in right now. Oh, uh, there's yeah, still two south. And they're Man. done running. They're done running lodges. Yep, that's a good call. No point. You uh, keep on doing that. Yeah, they definitely need to readjust these uh, rockets. Oh, here they come. They're pushing north too. The they've got a squad pushing north. Looks like Benbot squad. Oh wow, 
Big pot, yeah. He's actually pushing their. Uh... Oh, oh, he goes down. goes down. He just went down. So did someone else. I'm not for sure. Amari East Kids went down. I'm not for sure who his uh, two IC is in charge right now. So they're going to step. Oh damn! He just got they Cinder are now. Definitely pushing. Yep. That was. I don't think that was a good call for them to push out. They should have kept in that compound. They're just all in the they, wide open over here. The insurgents did just stop shooting from the north for a moment. And now, now they're getting aggressive again. They've taken down yep. four of them. Yeah, they Three took down four, four of them. them. Uh, Element just uh, went down too. I saw that, yeah. And they're just raining these rockets down, man. They just they really need to adjust that fire on the rockets. I don't. I just don't think they can see it like we can. It sounds like it's close or doing good. And actually, I think... Oh, oh, one just landed inside the compound. Holy I think crap. Krusty just said. I think Krusty just said that they maybe needed to go north a little bit. That's well, good. I'm not quite That's sure. good. But he said something about the artillery. Hopefully, they'll get that readjusted. Yeah, we'll see. It doesn't look like anything yet. Oh, oh, they do see the uh, people to the south now. Uh, Krusty's a uh, squad. They got a 50 lining up on them right now. But they can't press because uh, them rockets, they're just, they, they're going to get hit by them rockets. So they can't, they're just stuck there now. They can't. Oh, move. yeah. Krusty can't push. No. It's, they the keep running these rockets down. Them. Oh, do they adjust it? Oh, they adjusted it. They're rocking it in. The, they're starting to hit the compound now. Oh, there we go. Couple of them hit a compound. Oh, and they took out the Logi truck. Oh wow! Ooh, These guys gotta be oh that close. one staying near uh, got getting the close. Uh, Humvee. Now they're shooting south. Yeah. Three, can you keep that streak going? Yeah. See if I can't see these yeah, uh, rockets come in. Oh yeah, the rockets will hit. Wow, yeah, they're still to south again. Yeah, looks like they got one to the south. Yeah, I, oh. Mighty's, whose crew is this over here? Yeah, that's one Mighty's to the west. That's Mighty's to the west? Oh, yeah, yep. he's, they, I think they spotted him over here. No, 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 no. All right, Bravo Fire Team, get five meters spacing. Yep. I want you to and in the meantime, Blue Falcon Squad is up to the west of the Artie truck. Direct north, literally zero, zero, Oh, wow, zero. man, I didn't even see Blue's. Uh, holy the crap, yeah. So while the insurgents are pushing around as the best they can, using the Artie to support them, the U.S. are relocating to the insurgents' position to take them out. So we might get to see good. Blue Falcon Squad walk in here and just... Take out oh, the arty. Mighty's uh, taking out the rest of it. Looks like a uh, shadow rituals crew here. Here they are shooting. It looks like they're going to back off now. Looks like they're going to try to rejoin with their uh, with the rest of their team over here across the river and get this uh, island, so they can push this other team over here to the east. And shot a ridge tool. He's starting to push across the river now. They just fired that 50 we got. Oh wow! We actually had a couple of uh, insurgents in there. Xpit's over in there. Oh yeah. Let's look at some kills. X I think Xpit just took down armor tap. Oh, the, it looks like. The kills are eight to eight. For here comes Shadow Ritual and uh, Echo One Five Nine. They're going to uh, come in here and help out uh, X. Yeah, Xpit. Xbit knocked off Silverman off the uh, 50 over there in that garage. That's so we definitely got some uh, enemies or uh, the insurgents inside the compound now. Oh, yeah, the insurgents are coming in hard from the north now. Xbit's on the west side. He's the command leading by example over here. Yep. Shadow Richard was just uh, behind him with his crew. Hopefully, his crew can make it across the river and uh, help them out. It looks like, uh, oh no, Shadow Richard's crew just got uh, ruined. By uh, Mighty's team. Blue Falcon Squad is finally going to push the artillery truck up north. I'm going to zoom, up, 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 zoom up there. All right. Here they come. There's three guys. There's Glock 7112, Truth Realm, and 
Oh. And Nacho. Did they get him? So, nope, nothing yet. Nothing yet. But they are unloading with their guns. That's for sure. Yeah, Shadow Ritual's team and will expect the whole, actually, half their team over here is inside the compound now, just taking them out. I think they had a couple of rockets just go low, a couple of lats. Oh, another one. Maybe those are grenades. Uh, GLs. But in the meantime. Yeah, these searches are just running rampant inside the compound now. They're they're just taking them out left and right. It, they come from the north. It's, it's the north and the north west. Of... The north and west. I'm surprised the south team uh, hasn't been pushed up yet. Cressy's uh, team. But they're also being engaged by Mighty's uh, lift over a grenade. Here. Good grenade. Oh, he takes That's out it. two. What a great grenade. Takes out Schnapps and Fulcrum. Blue Falcons retreating. x trying to get rid of... Oh, x just went down. x was trying to get rid of the uh, Humvee, but they uh, he ventured out and... Uh, Dentrick ventured out and went ahead and to uh, take care of uh, x there. Okay, I'm going to break away from the northern engagement. There's only a couple guys left up there for the insurgents. Dentrick's over here upstairs uh, taking cover. Oh! Shadow hey, Ritual's to get to, uh, taking on Bunny right now. Uh, and they just re lose a rocket on the uh, oh, Humvee. So they're about to take that out. That and there are that was big insurgents. Yes. You're right, there are insurgents everywhere. Yes, they the, just came over here and Humvee's just took down. this compound. Oh, and uh, Bunny he took down Cold Earth. Or Cold, Cold Earth? Yeah, Cold Yeah, Cold Earth. All right, well, it's Bunny, yeah, and I think, up. I think it's Bunny and the Silverman, or Lieutenant Smith, one or the other. Silver it's uh, the Silverman. It's the Silverman. He's up. He's the only two right now uh, alive inside. So pretty soon, we'll probably get a notification that uh, if the Silverman and Bunny can't hold it. Well, they're still talking. They just now uh, got word that they're inside the compound. So I think they're going to try to come back here and uh, help them out. There's a lot of U.S. soldiers outside that compound that they can push back in, just like the insurgents did. Oh, yeah. They definitely can. But I think the, the insurgents definitely have a good foothold in here now. So it's going to be a little bit rough trying to get across that river. Oh, Silverman just took down Digit. Best point is going to come over here and try to sneak in there. See if you can't see him. Silverman is surrounded. Oh, yeah. Here comes Best Pony. He better be careful. Oh, Bunny's. Oh, oh and there he goes. Best Pony took down Silverman. Oh. And Bunny takes down Best Pony. Yep. Eye for an eye right there. Shadow Ritual over there. Is he coming from the west. At. Yeah, big, big yes is going to come and flank Bunny. Yep, he's taking his time. Here he comes. Let's see if he peeks he's out being or not. cautious. Oh, no, he's like, no, I'm just going to take my time here. I'm not going to try it. I don't want to die. <laughs> Bunny's still holding his little sandbag Shadow here. Ritual, yep. Shadow Ritual is trying to figure out where Big Bun or where uh, Bunny is at. He's keeping an eye on that window to see if you maybe pop up and see him. Oh, he, this might happen right here. Oh, he just turned around. Okay, he's going to walk away now. Nope, Bunny's not moving. He's just sitting right there. Nope, Bunny is. Shadow Ritual is just moving off. He's moving away. He's going to try to flank maybe from a different angle, maybe. Lots of insurgents in the Hotel 5 compound. For sure. U.S. soldiers were holding, but have lost. It looks like uh, the northern team is starting to come back now. They're coming back down to help out. Yeah, it's basically team, turned around. Yeah, Mighty's team is uh, half of his team is holding against the river right now, waiting for uh, him to come up. Okay, come here, come here. Black, do me a favor and keep us south. I'm going to take a closer look over on uh, Mighty here to see what he's talking about. He might be talking in local. I'm hearing calls in local, and they I think they see Wantap Man and Han and Decipher. I think that's who they see. They don't actually see the squad way up there. Yeah, command squad or the commander uh, comms have been pretty, 
kind of silent. They just opened up right now. Bunny just calls and he's got two people in front of him. What did Bunny just? Oh, Bunny just shot Turtle Guy Five. Yeah, yeah. Bunny's he moving. tried taking out Turtle Guy Five, but he wasn't able to get him. He did hit him. He's bandaging. However, Turtle Guy Five is still up. Yeah, Bunny might be taken out right here. Oh no, he sees his gun. He sees Blink sees his gun poking out. He's waiting. Yep, he popped him with the oh. There goes the best bun or, or, or bunny going in. Taking out. Oh, oh! It was like big Blank yes took him down gets, while Blink's face was biggest? getting uh, bandaging. Nice. So there goes Bunny now. All right. So what do we got? Oh, here comes Mighty in the south right, with a couple of his guys. Yeah. In the meantime, there's basically oh, here comes a more rockets to the west. Party was not. I'm sure where that landed. I didn't get a shot on it. Looks like it landed over here near uh, one taps area. Oh, Mighty goes down. Oh. Looks like he's spotted to the south. I don't know who got him. But they're called out. Crazy Russian and Black are coming in. Black lays down. He's. Oh, Crazy Russian goes down. Takes the shot. It's a squad leader, it looks like. Turtle Guy 5. Got himself a. He's got the AR. Uh, Black's taking off. Oh, Last there goes Black. Black. Black goes down. That's it. There's that. That's the team for that one. West side is all they've got left. Yep. Right, right Not for sure exactly how they're going to uh, approach this uh, compound. They're both on one side. I don't know if maybe a radic might push further south and then come up. I'm not too for sure exactly what they're going to try to do. But that's Can what I would do. If I was talking, no, I don't hear him talking. But if I was them, I definitely, if I was Radic, I definitely would be pushing further south, or maybe just push, go back up north a little bit and come down. That way, at least you can uh, flank them on both uh, sides instead of just one area. Any guys they have now are guys who are trying to flank us. Yeah, that's about. Yeah, that's it. What do we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, nine. Yep, only got nine, nine soldiers left. alive left. Yeah, it looks like they're. I don't think they have comms with each other at all, so they're have to go to communicate in local comms now. Here they come. They're coming across the river, though. Getting together, going to make a big wide push. What are you guys seeing up there? Like, they come back in and take it. Trying to get a count on uh, insurgents here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen ish. I don't know. Looks like Stock was uh, in charge of that. I hear Shadowed Ritual calling out the U.S. soldiers crossing the river, making very accurate calls. Oh, so there, Sir Loin, he's uh, in charge right now. That's what's going on. All right, they're going to be throwing smokes, and they're going to try to press them. Oh, that's great. I can just see the line of them. I know, right? Preparing. There they go. Ready. I'll sprint it. Estelle might need to be careful. He's kind of poking his head above this uh, ridge here. Here we go. They'll be rolling in shortly. All right. They're going to be sitting there, wait till that smoke all builds up, and then they're going to be running right in. They're still kind of making some call outs. Let him talk. Yeah, that's what they're doing. One's going uh, north, one's going south, and they're going to try to pinch them. Oh, and a couple are coming straight go. through it, too. Look at that. Three of them got in. Sir Lorna, Radic, Ares, and Bajelan all got in. Big guess is trying to hold them uh, there. They He's still got to push up. They're still in the open. There they go. Now they're getting some behind some cover. Blink Spaces is coming out to help, too. Here comes one tap man. Oh, down south. he goes. Asshole gets him. Main or nade, big yes, are on the south side. Big yes throws a nade. Sir Loin throws one back. Stock goes down. North side yep. seems Sir to be spread by the up. U.S. or uh, insurgents. 
So loins up, erratic airs is up. Nader nades climbing the stairs, getting a top down view. Han and one top man and Cypher are slowly pushing their way here on the south side. They're they unseen, it looks easy. like. Oh, big yes, peek in the corner. Oh, he might hear Sirloin coming. Oh, we might. Oh, there goes Sirloin. He goes down. He traded with Wook, I think. Got no, in there, got uh, after... big yes came around and took him down after he took after uh he took out Wook. Erratic errors is over here, still against the wall. He's taking his time, slowly pushing in from the west side. Nope, oh, he's going back down to the south side now. Looks like Erratic's left, plus the south side push, which is one yep. tap man, Han, and Decipher. And that's all that's left for Oh, and they just finally see the uh, southern push right now. Oh, Darwin trading, they take out. Oh, there goes Erratic, he took out Big Yes. So they definitely know that there's still one more over there. Good little push here by the Americans. There's Oh, yeah. Two, four, six, eight, about eight insurgents left and four Americans. Three Ooh, Americans, Nader four. There, oh, Nader Nade took out uh, Erratic. Oh, but Erratic goes down. Shot off on him. Oh, he's got a bandage real quick. So all that's left now is just those three. One top man, Han, and uh, Decipher. They got a little spread down there at the bottom. Let's see if they can just drop yeah. a couple. Might just make something happen here. It's not over. Especially oh, now that uh, Turtle Guy 5 is getting a little anxious. Now nah, he's going back. He decided, nope, don't want to poke my head out there. <laughs> but you got Silas. He's, oh, okay. I thought he was going to yeah. be sure there too. <laughs> <laughs> They're thinking about it. You can see they were thinking about it. <laughs> archway, uh, zero, three, zero. They're in that archway. At least two or three just ran across. It's looking really good for the insurgents right here because uh, the numbers and the positioning. They, oh, yeah. They pushed their way right in. And you know what? The U.S. did a great job. They were just a little too far spread out. So when the insurgents came in and wiped them out, there was no one else to replace them. They had two squads on the outside, and it, and they paid for it. I mean, it, All of a sudden, it was they had smart. to go on the offensive. Yeah. yeah. It was smart for them to push up there and try to get that rocket techie out of there. Uh, however, unfortunately, it really wasn't doing too much of a job. Uh, it was just hitting southern of this compound. I think they were just trying to like get lucky and maybe try to get the, uh, the logic truck when it was running, maybe. But, yeah, you are right. They definitely did spread themselves out just a little too thin. And they definitely didn't call any comms. Or uh, I didn't hear too much of a, on the uh, commander's uh, comms about needing help or coming back in. So, right now we're I'm just uh, local, playing the waiting game. Yeah, I'm hearing some local chatter, that's for sure. So, that's good uh, for the insurgents because they're still communicating with each other. Talking about hearing things or seeing things. I don't think they're actually seeing the enemies. Especially look at one top. Uh, one yeah, top man's off to the east side. slowly creeping up. He might be able to take out Silas over here if he really wants to. All right. Yep, he sees him. Moving, moving, moving. There he goes. He's going to try to call him or uh, take him out. Yep, he oh, got him. Oh, and he drops him. So that, that they definitely Joker know there's somebody over here now. Way. Evans is looking that way. Decipher comes in, throws a grenade up. Doesn't kill anybody, but it scares him. One top is slowly making his way to the northern side of the compound. Meanwhile, Decipher and Han, they're starting to push up now to the compound. Oh, Turtle Guy 5 goes down. Oh, yeah. Decipher got him. One tap man's going to peek in on Evans. He's not careful. There we go. He's fine. So they they get to uh, take this uh, compound back over. There's only four of them against the three. Five of them. Is Nachos five? coming in from the northwest. Yeah. Oh, so I, didn't, I didn't. Oh, that's right. I forgot about uh, him. Being six on the, three. Uh, yeah. Six on three. Heck of a game. Ooh, Decipher took down uh, Drunk Puppy. Drunk and Puppy. Nice. Drunk One tap hands on the north. Down Decipher. <clears throat> Evans is definitely looking towards Decipher. I don't know what he sees, though. I'm not down. At yeah, his view. I don't think he... Actually, I don't even think Evans sees anything. He's inside the room. Let me see. I'm going to peek in there, see if I can't see what he's looking at. One tap man creeping up from the north. He's closest oh, to yeah. Pokes Mott. Yeah, Evans is just sitting in a room. He he doesn't see anything on the outside. He's just waiting for them to come hit him. On tap man's over here uh, talking to local right now. 
Oh, oh. Pokesmot oh. heard him. Pokesmot there got him. Pokesmot got him, yep. I was wondering how close he'd have to get before you heard him. Apparently, th- three meters <laughs> was the distance <laughs> or so. That was pretty close. So that just so leaves two uh, Decipher in the Silverman now. Or, I mean, uh, Han. I'm sorry. Yep. Han and uh, Decipher. So they're trying to put together some kind of uh, maneuver. Looks like they're going to stick on the east side of the compound. The good thing is, Han is a medic, so he could help out Decipher big time if he uh, ends up getting uh, hurt. Yeah, they could do... They can take a shot or two and get away with it. Get healed. You know, trade with someone. Or at least get someone down while taking a bullet or two. Yep. And come out unscathed. Nacho is still slowly creeping his way uh, down to the south here. Looks like he might try to do it, put a flank on these guys. You know, he doesn't know exactly where they're at. He might see... Oh, he... Oh. If he stayed there just a little bit longer, he could have uh, saw them coming up. They're sneaking in. Evans is still just holding that second floor of that building. He's not doing too much. Yeah. Oh, he just took... Uh, uh, yep, the cypher just took out Pox Smoke. Pox Smoke. Pox Smoke. Pokes spot, sorry. I can't read today. Oh, way up <laughs> north pronounced. there. Nice, yeah. nice oh, shot. That oh, uh, they just, yep, they just took down oh, Han. Han goes down. Decipher is shooting at Sedingo, looks like. Oh, Decipher got whoever that was in the second oh, floor. that was, yeah. I don't, I'm not too sure who it was. But I can't he did remember. take him out. Nacho finally comes up, uh, regroups with the rest of his uh, buddies here. So what do we got? Decipher against Evans. Sedingo and Nacho. And Nacho. Decipher's doing good. He's dropped a few dudes. He's got four. He definitely has. He. We have seen it where somebody has been taken out a, a whole squad by themselves at the end of the match. He could take out these three. Yep. Totally doable. They're spread out far enough that he could. Uh, he could make it happen. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Right now they're uh, they're doing something really good. Uh, they're definitely being smart about this. Stay inside a room. Let decipher come to him. There's no point trying to push on decipher when it's just him by himself. Oh, definitely not. If you see me, you, if the blur of blue and red. That's oh pretty my much gosh. where decipher's at. He's down I know, there. Right. I'm over here trying to. Get a good camera angle on it. I just see nothing but the sea of blue and red right now. Yeah. All right, he's pushing. Nacho. He's Nacho straight west of him. Yeah. If he gets Evans up closer to the building. bank, he might be able to see uh, Decipher before he uh, gets inside this compound. And Nacho is. He's crawling. He's prone. Yep. Not sure. Oh, that was a dingo. He's over here chucking grenades right now. <laughs> Just anywhere. Well, you never know. I could throw it to the Nacho, cypher for a loop. Yeah. Nacho is slowly making his way back up. Creeping up on this uh, embankment here. He might be able to catch him in time. Oh, no. He's not going to get to see him right now. He's going to sneak in right in the yep. nick of time. They're going to miss each other just by a few minutes. So here comes one top, man. He's probably going to clear out this two-story building, I would uh, suppose. See if I can get here a good shot above Evan's uh, area. Goodness. Oh, I just heard Evan in local. Evan said he heard one around him, or he heard a couple oh, yeah? around him. He said he yes. heard a couple, even though there's only one. All right. Well, here he comes. Here he comes. He's sitting here solid. Right See what above. Decipher does. Oh, looks like Decipher might just uh, bypass his second story and just continue on. Yeah. He sure did. Yeah, he's going to get up on the roof here. Oh, he might. Let's see. Evan might be able to catch him through the window, maybe? 
Oh. Oh, Cypher takes he out just took out Sedingo. Wow. So that's just Nacho and Evans now. Nacho's right, coming around. There yeah, they just called Jeez. out. They lost Sedingo. Nacho's on the wrong side of the wall, though. He's not going to be able to see uh, Decipher. Do you know if my compound is clear? No. All right. That's a shame. Oh, oh, if he takes that high ground, Decipher's going to see him. They were just talking in local. Decipher might have a beat Evan. on him. Yeah, Evan should be able to see or hear it at least if he shoots again. I don't think he does. I, I think he's got. He might be just. His way. No, he's. No, he should be able to see him. I, I think he does see him. Decipher's focused on the uh, building, you know? Oh, yeah, you That's are. He's he is at. looking down at the. Yeah, he's not even looking at up there. Oh, man. All he has to do is just raise his head up a little bit. He'll be able to spot Nacho. <laughs> Let's see if he sees him when he crawls out of here. Oh, not just wow, not oh, no, he just saw him. There he goes. He got him. <laughs> wow, just like that. Wow, one tap. boom, dang. All right, yeah, look at this. All uh, the cipher might be able to clutch this. <laughs> Evan <laughs> just said, "Well, rip in local <laughs> chat." <laughs> I think I want to pee because you know, <clears throat> kind of hear him around me. Unless that's fucking rain. I don't know so if it's raining. we might have to, or at least someone inside the game might have to uh, get these chest. guys to move. Yeah, we'll see. They might encourage them to move. Yeah. Because for now, it's just Evan is sitting it's, there in that same yeah, spot he's been for the last the fifteen Cypher's minutes. Definitely not going to move either. It is pretty crazy, though, that they're this close to each other, but they don't even know it. Oh, I don't know how he didn't know how to look at their reflex. I was wondering the same thing. Yeah, well, I, he got called out. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. Decipher was all over it, though, when he dropped him. Quick one tap. Can I wait till 10.15? Fuck it. We're all right. Evan's going to move. All right, here we go. He, Decipher might hear him. Let's see. Oh, I think he does hear him. He's just trying to figure out where exactly he's at. Wow, look at this. They're, they're just they're, on opposite sides of the wall. They're five feet apart. <laughs> yeah, I think Decipher hears him. He keeps looking back every time he moves. If I was a cipher, and of course, I mean, you don't know everything, but before I move that building, I would just take a peek on those uh, windows real quick. Evan is totally talking to himself in local chat, too. <laughs> kind of narrating his thoughts. Oh, he definitely hears that. So he knows. Yeah, he knows he's right there, <laughs> but he doesn't know if. Uh, How many else is up in the life? <laughs> he wants to move. Look at him. He, yeah, he wants to get up there. Oh, here we go. Will, will the suffer go up the stairs? Oh, goodness. This suspense is just killing me right now for crying out loud. <laughs> Evans just said he has to be the south or to the south of me, and he's pretty right. Yeah. I think he has to push me, so I'm just going to stay put unless an admin tells me to push. He says he's going to stay put until an admin tells him to push. All right. I'm going to make a broadcast for him stating to uh, push this compound. Anyone listen to Ocean, Ocean Man? I like the song Ocean Man. Like Ocean Man, take me by the hand. Lead me to the land. All right. Oh, maybe I don't need to. Ocean Man. Let's see what the cypher's doing. He's, he's getting ballsy more. Yep, here oh. he comes. Oh, they hear each other. Oh, he's going to see his gun. He sees his gun. Yep, he sees his gun. He finally sees him. 
That's game. Here we go. Oh, oh no. my oh. goodness. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh my goodness. He's got to hear him behind him. He has to. Oh, so man. So he knows where he's at. I can't believe that that didn't happen right there. <laughs> Holy shit. I wonder if Decipher has a, a grenade, maybe. Oh, he sees his foot. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Oh, he's trying to jump and shoot him. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Evan wins it. Evan, Evan wins it. it. <laughs> Takes out the fight. <laughs> Holy cow. I can't believe that, was that awesome. just worked out. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Holy shit. Oh, my Damn. goodness. Damn. That was good. Wow. That was really you know good. What? what a way to end it. Way to go to Cypher. He could have shot him in the foot, and he freaking yep. didn't do it. So That's you know, good on him. you got to take your hats off for the Cypher. For sure. On that one. What a freaking guy for doing that. I mean, wow. Amazing. That was <laughs> – oh, you know what? He, he, he ended up – he lost it for his team because he was playing honorably. So props to him. For sure. That was I just crazy. typed it in chat, so he'll, hopefully he'll see that. Like your your feet were were clipping through the wall, and he aimed at them. Looked down. That is awesome. And then, like, what a game! Uh, you know, and Decipher almost clutched that. He could have clutched it yeah. right there, and he chose to play honorably and try and get the shot in there, and it ended, really he ended good. up paying for it. So, what's going to happen is we're going to roll the map right back to this map. They're going to uh, be placed on the opposite teams, and they're going to do the same thing, just as the opposite sides. Yep. And we'll see what happens. So I'll be covering U.S. and uh, Muff will be covering insurgency or insurgency this time. Except you can you can expect the U.S. to probably pick a different location yeah. to defend. Oh yeah, for sure. We uh, that's a good thing about the commands; they don't try to pick the same locations uh, twice in the map. Yeah, a little bit. Of it's more about feel. it's more about the experience and winning or losing for everybody is really what it's about. Yes, for sure. And remember, remember to like throw something into chat if you want to get the squad key. We're taking everybody yep. who says anything, even if you type boner in chat, <laughs> it'll, uh, it'll <laughs> enter you into it. And we're going to give a giveaway at the end of the yeah, round two here. We'll be giving so away halfway two, there, three keys. Halfway to the giveaway. I'm what Definitely a good stick game. around for that. Well, we're going to be taking a quick little break here while uh, we get this map rolled and all that situated. So there'll be a little bit of a pause here. Before we start back up. Yeah, go get yourselves a drink. Uh, go to the bathroom. Call your mom. Tell her that you love her. All that good stuff. <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back. A couple of minutes. This is Squad Ops.